All right, this one's gonna be on CHD man. It is a way to um, compress an image. And uh, what's this one for? Mame compressed hunks of data. So CHD is here. Uh, I can do other stuff, but the main purpose is what we're gonna do today is uh, just converting our um, was that our console files? You know, our game images to uh, CHDs. And CHDs, if you don't know what it is, it's um, if you know what MP3s and FLAC is, I would say this is kind of like the FLAC of, you know, compressing our game images here, right? Uh, so you're going to save space and uh, some of the new emulators are going to support it. So, um, you know, this is probably the image that you want to use as far as the future of uh, emulations and ROMs and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to create a uh, CHD files uh, based on, you know, our image here. So I got a bunch of, you know, um, ROMs here for uh, PS1. And uh, all you gotta do, really, is just type in, what's that, the CHD man, create CD, our input. And so I'm gonna use this uh, Winter Olympics one here. So you wanna use the Q file, right? And our output, uh, we're just gonna call it Winter uh that's it winter.chd so normally this is how you would do it in the command line if you want to just you know type it out uh so this will take a while just to do one right but you're gonna save space it's probably gonna be either half or it's going to save you a little space depending on the game right um but i'm too lazy to do that from the command line you know typing out every time so i wrote my own script uh, which is just called game to CHD and pretty simple. Uh, so this one does depend on, um, you know, the, was that main tools should be in your repositories, but it does convert, um, a bunch of, um, uh, consoles. Uh, I mean, you can do a laser disc too and all that, but, um, you know, for PlayStation here is usually if you download it, it's uh, a bin and queue file, right? Uh, most of these are bin and queue file, like Saturn, you know, Sega CD, stuff like that. So it supports more than this, but I'll give you some examples here. As far as the Dreamcast, it's usually in a bin and GDI files. So that's why, you know, we can use uh, queue files or GDIs if we wanted to. All right, so those are some of the options, and this is how you would use it instead of um, doing the command line that I just showed you earlier, right? So we have a bunch of files here, and if I wanted to use uh, my script, I use game to chds, and you know I can um, input in like uh, all the all the all the queue files, or just one at a time if I wanted to. So let's say if I want to just do one at a time, I just do uh, winter queue here. What's that? Thing? Right, and what it's gonna do is actually spit out a uh, CHD files, but with the exact name, so we don't have to actually like um, you know type out our own you know uh, name. We just take it based on the input. So that's what I like about that. And if I want to do the whole thing, um, I'll just do what was that? I do game to CHD. Uh, I spell it right, and I can do like the straight up the whole key file in there. All right. And I'll just do one by one uh, once it's up. So it makes it a little more convenient. And so that's what I've been using to convert all my, um, you know, all my PS1 games. Just because uh, some of these new RetroArch, um, what is that, uh, cores they have, the emulators they have. Uh, I know that uh, the Beetle one supports CHDs. And the one I tried it was um, PCA. Was that PSX? Or was that PCSX? Rearmed in, right? Uh, that one supports it too. So a bunch of these new emulators, uh, they will support CHDs, and like I said, CHDs will save you uh, space if that's what you need. Um, and the performance is still good depending on your emulator, right? Uh, it's just an image, anyways. Uh, so that's it for the program and my script. If you want the script, I'll leave you in the description. Um, pretty much it. And another thing in here with the, 
the gain to CHD here. Uh, if you want to use with Task Buller, which hopefully you know what it is already, but you can actually queue with Task Buller too if you know how to use it. I don't want to explain it if you don't know what it is. Uh, just watch my video on Task Buller, then I'll explain that. Anyways, that's it for uh, the script. Um, if you have like another image that has like a different, um, what is that, extension? Uh, that you want to use with this uh, whatever chd man supports you can use this script to do that but i just give you some examples here for you know the consoles uh, that i know it works with and the images anyways um that's it for this one